presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. When we left Jungle Jim Bradley last week, you will remember that he was lying unconscious in the hut of Dr. Carstairs, the British Secret Service representative. Both the doctor and Shanghai Lil were at his bedside, hoping that he would recognize them and perhaps give them some information about the attack made upon his safari by Bhutan. Further ahead in the Burmese jungle, two members of Jungle Jim's party, Peter Hawkins and Kolo, were being held prisoners by Bhutan, along with Myra Trent, the American medical missionary. As our story closed last week, Myra Trent and Peter Hawkins turned the tables on Bhutan, and all those surrounded by his tiger claw killers were holding him a prisoner in his own camp. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Shanghai Lil is preparing to leave Dr. Carstairs and go into the Tiger Claw Territory to avenge Jungle Jim. I'll make Bhutan pay for what he's done to Jungle Jim. Before I get through, he'll wish he'd never heard of either one of us. You're rather fond of this Bradley Cave, aren't you, Mr. Reel? That's my business, Doc, and I'll thank you not to meddle in affairs that don't concern you. I'm sorry, I apologize. Jungle Jim Bradley is a, a friend. I've known him for a long time. Of course. You need have no fears about his welfare. I'm sure he'll come through all right. Well, I'm leaving him in your hands now, Doc. It's nearly dark enough for me to be starting. Oh, I know that you'll do the best you can. Of course. But I must warn you, this is a dangerous mission you're going out on. I hate to see you start. Don't worry about me. I'll handle Bhutan. I hope so, Mr. Reel. But I can't forget that several brave men have gone into the Tiger Claws territory seeking the information you're after that none of them has ever returned. I've been on dangerous missions before, Doc. Is your plane ready? I've ordered that it be filled with petrol and warmed up. Good. Well, I guess there's no point in me delaying much longer. Remember, Mr. Reel, when you get into Bhutan's camp, get the necessary information and get it to me somehow. I have my orders to remain here and continue my disguise as a missionary. I'll get the information you need, Doc. Don't worry. I wish you luck. Good. I'm ready to leave as soon as I say goodbye to Jungle Jim. I know he's still unconscious, but, well, I may never see him again. I understand. Jim! Sorry to Bradley. interrupt, Lil. Look here, man, sit I, down. I came to and time to overhear what you and this man were saying. Oh, Jim, well, this is Dr. Carstairs. He, he brought you here from Doomba Pass. Oh, thanks a lot, Doc. <laughs> the head's all right. Now, if you don't mind, Lil, I'll go with you. Now, look here, Bradley, let me help you. Jim, you're sick. Go right back to bed. No, Lil. I'm only a little groggy. I'll get over it in a few minutes. Now, if you're going after Bhutan, I'm going with you. It's impossible, man. You had a brain concussion. You're wounded. You'll have to get back to bed immediately. Don't be foolish, Jim. I'll be back in a few days. And then if you're better, you My can... mind's made up, Lil. I feel okay. A little weak, but I'll snap out of it. Now, listen to me, Bradley. Hell, that's that, Doc. You won't get anywhere arguing with him. But I tell you, it's suicide. Don't bother me, Dr. Carstairs. Now, Lil, from what I heard you say, you're ready to start, aren't you? That's right. Now, look here, Bradley. I then let's get sit. going. Don't forget, Lil. I have a score to settle with Bhutan. As darkness blacks out the jungle, another scene is taking place in Bhutan's camp. Blimey, we are lucky, Miss Trent. There ain't nobody come near this hut yet. I thought we'd be missing our friend Bhutan here before now. Do you think we'll be able to get away, Mr. Hawkins? We'll be safe before morning if Bhutan's men don't come snooping around. But if ever they find we've got both Bhutan and his guard tied up, we're in for it. Oh, if only we knew what was going on outside. That's just what I was thinking. Wait. I'll make sure that our two prisoners are safely tied, and then we'll have a look on the outside. Mm, roll over on your back, Bhutan. That's it. Are the wolves oh. tight? He'll never get out of them. It's nearly dark. Look through the door. Can you see anything? There's not a soul around. Well, this here acts away from the others. That's why we was put here. 
quiet as the grave it is. Do you think it would be safe to step outside? Not yet. Come back. Wait. I've got an idea. Yes? I'll put on that blinky turban and robe the guard was wearing and go outside and have a look around. It's dark enough. They'll never recognize me. We'll get the lay of the land, find Kolu, and leave Bhutan tied up here till they find him. But won't they recognize you? Not with that robe and the turban, they won't. I'll keep away from anybody I see. Now keep watch there by the door. It's all right. There's no one coming. Can you see? Good enough to get this robe off him. <clears throat> by the time you're ready, it'll be fully dark. You won't be gone long, will you, Mr. Hawkins? Just long enough for a quick look around. I'll leave the gun here with you. If anyone comes, hold them till I get back. Now I'm ready. All but this blooming sash. There. How do I look? Oh, your disguise is perfect. I'd never know you. Good. Here's the gun. Remember now, if you see anyone, hold them. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If I can find Colo, I'll send him back to you. Now be careful while I'm gone. Oh, I'll be all right. Stand away there by the door where you can see me. All right. Cheerio. Oh, I hope no one sees him. He's out of sight already. Oh. It's Murray Hawkins. Oh, the poor fellow. Mm, Bolton's thought he could hide them. Put them where I couldn't find them. Hands up. <laughs> the white girl. You thought I wouldn't find you. Put your hands up or I'll shoot. And you've got a gun. Put it down. I won't hurt you. Don't come a step nearer. I'll shoot. <laughs> oh, why don't you help us? You're a white man. Come away with us. I'll sell you for ransom. I'll get money to buy guns and knives. Get back! <laughs> you have gun. Nice gun. Give it to me. No, get back! <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Nice gun. <laughs> Please, give it to me. Who's that on the floor? Oh. The old one? Come back. It's Wutan. Wotan and his servant tied hand and foot. Don't touch them. Don't let them go. Wotan, I wanted to kill you. Now I kill you. No, don't do that. You've made me do the things you wanted me to do. Now you die, Wotan. No, don't. You hear me? You can't talk, but you can hear. You're going to die, Bhutan. Oh, what shall Just I do? Just the way you killed all those others. Oh, don't kill him. I kill him. No, wait. Oh, Mr. Hawkins, come back. Hawkins? Who's he? The old one? Where is he? he he's gone. Gone? Did Bhutan kill him? No. No, he went away. Where? Show me where he went. I don't know where he is. Please, what are you going to do? We'll go find him. Come with me. But where are you taking me? We'll find the old one. Then we'll kill Bhutan. Wait, Bhutan. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> back at Dr. Carstairs' headquarters in the village, it is night. Shanghai Lil and Jungle Jim Bradley prepare to take off to find Bhutan's headquarters. Everything is ready, Mr. Ryu. Good. Come on, Jim. Let's get started. All right, Lil. You'd better take the control. I'm still a little shaky. I intend to. I must warn you again, Bradley. You're not in condition to make this trip. Oh, don't worry, Doc. I'll be all right. Sure he will. Let's get started. I'll get in the rear cockpit. All right, Lil. I'll help you out. Ah, uh, thanks. There you go. Just Here a hand. Come on. All right, now, wait a minute. Hey, Oh. Well, so long, Doc. You'll hear from us. Good luck. But I still think you're crazy. <laughs> well, this is the first chance I've had to speak to you alone, Lil. What the blazes are you doing in Burma? I could ask you the same thing, Jim. I'm helping the British government break up a smuggling ring headed by your friend Prince Bhutan. What do you know about him? Not much. That's what we're going after now. Information. Maybe you're after information, Lil. I'm after Bhutan. Well, maybe I can help. You haven't a chance of bringing him back alive, Lil. I came to Burma to help Peter Hawkins. Now, Bhutan has killed both Hawkins and Kolo. And he's going to pay for that. Oh, listen, Jim. I have information that makes me think that perhaps this Hawkins and Kolo are still alive. What? 
What do you think that, Lil? Because Doc Carter sent his man, Mambu, back to the past to give the victims of the massacre a decent burial. Yes? And Mambu didn't find either Kolu or Hawkins' body. Lil, do you know what that means? Bhutan has taken them prisoner. That's the way I figure it. That was why I was determined to start a night, Jim. But, Lila... If Bhutan is holding them, he'll attempt to torture information out of them before he kills them. You're right. We've got to get there in time to prevent that. Lil, if I ever get my hands on that oily Hindu's throat, I'm not going to show any mercy. Where's his hideout, anyway? We'll be over his territory in a few minutes. There's the plane below. You were entering Bhutan's territory when you went into Doomba Pass. Oh, so that's it. That's why he stopped us, eh? We were getting too close for comfort. According to Doc Carter, no white man has ever gone into the jungle on the other side of Doomba Pass and come out alive since Bhutan's been running things. No? Well, here's one white man that's coming out, and I'm bringing Prince Bhutan back with me, dead or alive. What are your plans, Lil? We're going to land. Yeah? Guide ourselves as natives and keep out of sight for a few days until we find out what's going on. Yes, but what about Hawkins and Kolo? If Bhutan is holding them, we've got to get to them quick. If we find out they're there, we'll make our plans accordingly. But, Jim, you haven't told me yet why you're here. Well, Hawkins and I were looking for his shell-shocked son, Ronnie, Lil. Oh. He's been reported in the Burmese jungle. Did you find any trace of him? Only a few vague reports that he has been seen. There's something mysterious about him, Lil. And it all leads back to Prince Bhutan. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. Bhutan knew that we came into Burma to find Ronnie. For some reason, he tried to stop us in every way that he could. First, he... Try to prevent us from equipping our safari back in Mandalay. Well, he wasn't very successful. No, but he followed us into the jungle and tried to burn our stores. He even killed one of my natives who was trying to get information. Carter told me about that. It happened in the village we just left. Yes, that's right. Well, you know the rest, Lil. He ambushed us and doomed the path. Then you've got a double purpose in coming with me, Jim. You may be able to rescue Hawkins and Kolu and find this man Lonnie, too. That's right, Lil. And don't forget... And I'm going to settle with Bhutan, too. Well, you'll get your chance soon. Buckle on your safety belt. My safety belt? That's what I said, Jim. There's Doomba Pass below us. We're nearly into Bhutan's territory. Then what happened? I'm going to put us down on those rocks down there. But you'll crack up, Lil. That's just what I intend to do. Hold on. Here we go. What new adventures are ahead for Shanghai Lil and Jungle Jim when they land in the territory of the Tiger's Claw? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Cats and Yammer Kids, Barney Google, Jiggs and Maggie, Toots and Casper, the Little King, Flash Gordon and many, many others. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. (laughs) 